So with this pumpkin, what I'm envisioning is just kind of abstract brush strokes. We mm -hmm. like color here, we like all the things. So you just take whatever paint you want, no rhyme or reason okay. with this one. Just, just a fun, just because pumpkin. Now we are working with the same size pumpkin, but obviously mine is orange. So I'm actually gonna do a base of light blue. was so pretty. That blue is called Cloudless. Ooh. It is like my favorite shade. I use that so in pretty much pretty. all of my designs. Yes, it looks so familiar. It does, it <laughs> does. I tell people it's so convenient when they go to purchase a doodle, a print from me, because I love pinks, I love aquas, I love mm -hmm. greens. So everything kind of coordinates if you want to do does. like a collage wall. Oh, fun. Pretty, pretty convenient fact I throw in there for people. Yes. <laughs> this is looking so cute already. I'm trying to envision where I want to put these pumpkins, like where right. to, like what little nooks in my house, in my I apartment. Know. So this is really funny. I'm not, I don't normally paint on anything except a canvas. Yeah. So even as me being a full-time artist, this is like testing my skills. Yeah. I'm like, there's a lot of texture <laughs> here. There's a lot going on. Switching it up a little bit. Yes. But like you said, this is such a fun and simple, like do it with a family, do it for date night. Right. Just oh yeah. Totally get you into the fall spirit. Yes. Okay, this is getting a little bit difficult. <laughs> no, no. You got it. That's like, it's like an arm workout, honestly. We're it really is. Off. It's impressive. And I'm hoping I don't have to do two coats on this. I might just do like a bunch of brush strokes so you can't really tell there's orange. Yes, me, yes. And if you do knows? like kind of the abstract on top of it, that will no help cover the orange as yes. well. Yes. Okay, so she's completely dry on the bottom. Okay. So we're gonna let her sit. I already love her. Okay. Check this one. Okay, she's dry. I think the ghosts are gonna be adorable on that oh, one. Oh yes, I'm so, so excited tired. for that one. Oh, so cute. Okay. How's our pink one looking? They're looking good. Yours is almost dry. I think I did a little bit of a heavier coat than okay. you. So she's still a little shiny, but honestly, if the white kind of blends a little bit that's in with the pink funny. for our yeah. ghost, that's even cuter. So I know this is like a fun fall tradition for a lot of people. What's your favorite thing to do in the fall? Oh my gosh, I love to go to a pumpkin patch or like apple picking. Yes. So I'm from the upstate originally, so Asheville, Western North Carolina wasn't far, so we would always go do something like that. Apple cider donuts are always so oh, good. Yes, they are. What about you? Okay, I was literally gonna say the same thing. Yeah. I love going up to like the mountains with my family. Mm -hmm. um, last year, my boyfriend and I went to the apple orchard. And we went too late because there was no more apples oh, to pick. I always do that too. And we were so disappointed, <laughs> but know. it was still beautiful views. We definitely got some of those donuts. Oh yeah. So yeah, if you're going this year, just make sure you go at the right time. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't follow our lead on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just look it up before you make the drive. <laughs> right. So what is the best way to tackle these ghosts? Okay, so for our little ghost, we're gonna use our small brush for the okay. first time, and we're gonna put it in the white, and I'll pull up my phone here so we can see. Okay. We should pretty much all know what a little ghost looks like, right. but just to be safe, we're just gonna look at these, and then okay. have some black, so oh, we'll do the eyes cute. once they dry. And that one did have that gold as well, so that now would be you, adorable. You do something called the dot method. I do. So tell us what that is. I do. Okay, so the dot method is the easiest way for any skill level to paint. And what I like to do with this is you really just map out where you're going to place the paint because lines can be intimidating. Mm -hmm. When you do a whole paint line, if you're not comfortable with that, you can be like, oh no, I don't want to put it there. Right. So the dot method is a really simple way, and I'll show you kind of step by step how I do that. Um, so what you're going to do first is just put one dot for the top of the ghost's head mm -hmm. and then you're just gonna start pulling it down to give you that little ghost body and then what I like to do with ghosts is have a like a frilly flowy bottom right. like they're floating yeah and so what we're gonna do for that is then we're just going to do little dots up and down and for the ghost this is a really small little canvas this is a great easy way to do this so mm -hmm. now what we're gonna do is fill it in okay so we're just gonna drag that paint right on down. And it is blending beautifully with this light pink. Super cute, girly little ghosts. So essentially, as long as your ghost doesn't have a flat bottom, then you're doing it right. Okay.
I will say painting these pumpkins in the air is like a new skill that we can add to our resume. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> this is really testing both hands. And oh, yes. <laughs> All of the Keeping it stable. Yeah, very impressive. Not as easy as it looks. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Okay, so here's one little ghost so you can see. Oh, adorable. So that's how she's looking. And then we'll just kind of do the same thing. We'll put a few just scattered around. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to use that dot method, you're more than welcome to keep kind of mapping out where you want to put them. Or, you know, these are a really small surface. So you can just kind of do the paint as you see. And I love that there's so many different styles that you can do because, you know, when you think of even carving but painting pumpkins too, usually you would think, oh, I'll do a face, like a jack-o'-lantern. Yes. But no, it does not have to be that way at all. Absolutely. When you asked me to come on here and paint pumpkins with you, I immediately <laughs> took to the internet. And I yes. was like, what can we do? What's different? Pinterest What's is our friend. <laughs> we love Pinterest here. So it is, like you said, just all kinds of different vibes. Um, fun and different anything you want yep and you can customize it to go with what your house looks like and what kind of colors you already have going on exactly my dog is a seven pound yorkie <laughs> and i'm envisioning this going perfectly with her little nook oh she has my a little gosh. corner she has oh. a pet portrait of herself that's light pink so we're just going to stick that right over that is follow up so pictures to cute. come <laughs> Love the size of this one, she's so cute. 